In this video, we're going to be focusing on specific foundational features from a permacolumn baseboard and foam board. In addition to that, we're going to look at also site prep. And you can see this, this pad is a beautiful uh, gravel pad that was laid out. This can help keep your building on schedule, make sure you're not eliminated from rain or anything like that. It's going to hold your building back. And then also, you've got an open side down both side walls that allow a grade all to go through here, your trusses to be run, your steel to be run, which helps keep your project on schedule. So anytime you're talking about foundation, that's a key component that allows your concrete to be poured and everything to go smoothly for your project. And as you look on down to the side here, you've got your, your foam board and your baseboard and your perma column. And so we'll start first with our perma column. The beauty of a perma column is pretty basic in the sense of you get your wood column out of the ground. So you don't have any issues from rotting or longevity issues with that wood column being in there. It sets on a precast concrete pad as well. So it just gives you a peace of mind for the strength and longevity of your, of your building. And then they will bring your wood column will sit in between this bracket and then it'll be bolted in on all three sides, on both sides three times, and that gives you your strength of that connection as well. And that goes up to your truss. And then as you move your way down, you've got your foam board. There's two reasons you, you might install a foam board on your project. One, a commercial job requires that from a conservation energy standpoint. And then two, it keeps your frost out of the building, so it keeps it cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter times, reducing that energy cost that you might have, which can have value to it. And then that gets bracketed to your baseboard that we'll talk about in a second. Other thing with the perma column is you do have an upcharge for your perma column versus your laminated column. So talk to your sales rep, depending on when that is, that cost can vary a little bit. That cost is an upcharge per column. So that can be a larger upcharge or a smaller upcharge depending on the size of your building to see if that's worth that for you over time. And as we move over to the other side, you can see this laminated column. This is a two by eight laminated column. That's your baseboard. This is what you attach your, your concrete to, obviously your foam board as we saw on the other side. Some companies might do a two by six or a two by eight or even a two by 10 if it's called for. Two by eight is really a great size. It allows foam boards to be attached. It gives your concrete um, guide time to and size to pour that to. A two by six can make that a little tougher since it's smaller. So something to keep in mind when you're doing your baseboard. And you can see that they tack your baseboard onto your concrete perma column on both sides and all the way around your building. So these are some specific baseboard features to talk to your sales rep about. Um, you could also do concrete bracketing. So you pour your concrete, you pour a footer, you can bracket your columns onto that. So we'll talk about that down the road. And you got perma column and then laminated columns. So those are kind of your three main columns you can look at. This is one feature to maybe talk to your sales rep about as you're looking at your project.